of the notes of acknowledging that what has happened is a good start. Uh, a good start with almost uh, unprecedented swiftness um, in, you know, reporting to the public, dealing with the matter and reporting to the public. I see what has happened, though, as a preliminary phase by the tenor of the report. That is how I see it, as a preliminary phase. And therefore, I have an expectation of a more substantive faith, which would see biting sanction administratively from the parent, you know, organizations that uh, those people, the kennel who has been, whose secondment has been reversed, that's actually no punishment. Then the three police officers who have been withdrawn, also no punishment because they will continue to draw their salary anyway. So um, this, for me, is the first fit, preliminary fit, and there ought to be the second and substantive fit, which will now result in real, true, administrative, punitive, biting sanction. And like Professor Christine has mentioned, there was criminal conduct, there was unconstitutional conduct, there was most egregious and unlawful conduct on the part of the officers. That is not dealt by administrative proceedings. It is dealt, if it is criminal, it is dealt in the court of law. So then it's like you clearly unmistakably of them. You see, when it comes to uh, Caleb and how he had access to the premises, they call it unlawful. unlawful. Yes. The same person who is authoring this report calling accessing a premises unlawful is unable to call the torture of a journalist by people supposed to be professionals as criminal, as unconstitutional, and as unlawful, and to tell us the detail, like you said, the detail of how they went about assaulting the young man. How do they label it? Inappropriate. So they inappropriately label an unconstitutional and egregiously unlawful and criminal conduct as inappropriate. I agree when they use uh, contravention or standard you know, procedures. Procedure. That's one I agree. Except that the procedure they say is procedure that is relative to the ministry. I am not familiar with that procedure. I am generally familiar with the police procedure in effecting an arrest mm -hmm. of someone who is suspected to have committed a crime. And let's not mean words about it. Caleb committed no crime. It must be stressed over and again. He committed no crime. In fact, he broke no journalistic code in what he had to do. Mm. Now, I believe that the, the second phase, which must be the most substantive phase, uh, must be as being told of the details, the very minute details of the conduct. Mm. And I have asked already that if the ministry wants to keep its credibility, it wants to be seen as being credible, they can start by putting out the CCTV, uh, which captured what was done to the young man. Now, they should, the, we too must not let things lie. If we take our eyes off the ball, I can assure you, and you are familiar with this country, that they will go back to their places and nothing will happen. 
after all, a whole eminent commission of inquiry made recommendations requiring the man who gave the instructions for these, you know, unlawful things to be done to Caleb to be removed from that place. And as we have learned, Azugu is still there. So we must follow this, follow it, ask and demand of the IDP mm. and demand of the military high command that this is done and done swiftly, just as the the uh, National Security Ministry has done. But Bennett, for me, as I have mentioned before, what would be most substantive is not limiting this thing to Caleb because there are too many Ghanaians who have suffered and continue to suffer this egregious, unconstitutional, unlawful, and criminal conduct and abuse by national security operatives, including the BNI. Mm. So let's go to the Constitution okay. and make sure that we are setting up a presidential commission of inquiry in, under the term in Chapter 23 of the Constitution, under those terms, which the commission will have the powers of a, a high court. And every Ghanaian who has had these, you know, experiences, either with the national security or the BNI, and lawyers, some of us who have known and have encountered mm. the abuses, okay. will appear and give testimony, All and right. then they will make recommendations. And these recommendations must come with a caveat. All right. Even before the commission is set up, just in one second, even the commission before the commission is set up, we should have a presidential undertaking that the report, the findings and recommendations will not be buried and will be implemented when submitted without any variation. That is the way to resolve the problem. All right, Samson.